Hello and welcome back to the latest part of the i4Designer SCADA visualization tutorial. In this third installment of the series, we'll wrap up our project by building and deploying it to our i4SCADA system. The deployment options available in i4Designer can be accessed using the Deployments button of the Global Actions menu. The Builds panel opened here allows you to first make a build that can be further deployed. The Deployments page is where the actual deployment is done, using one of the available methods for your platform. But for this video, we'll use a much better method, the FTP deployment. Of course, using the FTP method implies that your i 4 SCADA environment hosting the project has network connection, so if your infrastructure restricts network access, there is always the manual way. Since we do have an FTP server, we'll configure it in the FTP configuration panel. In our example, the FTP server will place our build output inside a remote folder that I've named Power Station Alpha. This remote folder will be created in the web server's root directory, so it will be immediately available in the web browser once deployed. To start the actual deployment process using the file transfer protocol, click the FTP button corresponding to the build that you want to deploy. The Toast notification will let you know when the deployment starts and when it's complete. Now that our project is deployed on our host machine, let's see it in action. On the i4SCADA machine, we can see the Power Station Alpha remote folder that was created during the deployment. The files built by i4Designer are right inside. Just access the URL using your web browser and the new visualization is up and ready for work. You can see the i4SCADA live signals updates against the i4SCADA test center. When using the visualizations buttons, the used signals are instantly updated in the i4SCADA system. Also, all configured SCADA alarms are available in the Alarm Viewer page. You get the full functionality of the Alarm Viewer right in your browser. This concludes our first video series on i4Designer. As always, there is more videos to come tackling more complex i4Designer scenarios. So keep an eye on that Control Center newsfeed. I'll catch you in the next one.